BFTB, best fight the best. So this is my Jose Uscatiki Caleb Plant post fight reaction. Um, looking at the two fighters before this, you know, I picked Caleb Plant, um, and I was told that you know Uscatiki's too aggressive. He has too much pressure. You know, he's too big of a puncher. He's too strong for um, Caleb, and he's just too good. But I said the same thing I say about every fight. Styles make fights. So in this fight, Caleb Plant came out immediately establishing the jab, immediately um, working on his, his far superior footwork. He was just just popping uh, Uskatiki all over the place, man. One, two, three, four jabs, just combinations um just he he just put in a master class performance um he caught him with beautiful lefts ended up uh putting him on his ass um in two exchanges um this was one of the first ones um you know and i don't think i think uskatiki wasn't ready for what caleb was doing i think he fed into his own hype uh, i think he believed that he was the bigger puncher which i think he was the bigger puncher um but it's not about the punches it's not about you being a bigger puncher. It's about being hit with a punch that you didn't see coming. That's what's going to. That's what's going to give you. That's going to give a certain fighter desire. That more of a desired effect. Um, Caleb Plant just was on that ass all night, man. He was just giving. Um, he was just giving Uskatiki to work. Um, just consistently giving him to work. Uh, I was super impressed, but it wasn't. It wasn't something that I, I didn't expect. Um, and then he ended up catching him again. And putting him on his ass in a beautiful with a beautiful left um, during a comp, during a um, during a flurry of punches between the two um, and Kate so Caleb was hit you know he was hit a couple times he had his eye busted I mean I know there was a there was a uh, accidental headbutt that did that that did some of the damage but he got he got hit and he got cut on his eye um, now I don't think that was a headbutt although they they claimed it to be a headbutt Uskatiki hit him. Um, and I don't want to take anything away from Muscatiki, but it just shows that Caleb Plant got a chin. Caleb Plant was, he was caught with a couple of punches, um, some, some nice ones, um, but it still wasn't enough. It still wasn't enough. Majority of the action was from Caleb Plant. Matter of fact, damn near all the action. I had him winning every round except one. Um, I, it was a total wash for me. Um, even that one round. Like I, 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 before the fight, I picked Caleb Plant winning by unanimous decision or majority decision. That's what I picked him by, and he won by unanimous decision. Um, I, I just look at styles. I don't look at the fighters, and that's what a lot of people do. Um, so Caleb Plant ended up winning this by unanimous decision and the new, just like I said, just like I said, um, this fight was what we call a shellacking. It was an absolute ass whooping. Caleb Plant put hands, feet, knees, ankles, elbows, everything. He gave that dude the work. Straight ass whooping. Um, it, this, was, this was what I expected it to be. I expected um, Caleb Plant to just outclass him, and that's exactly what he did. I know if Caleb Plant would have stood in the corner and just stood there, then I think um, Uskati would have gave him that work, but because Caleb Plant is not a foot in the sand type of fighter you know what i'm saying i i knew that was never going to happen um but i want to shift gears right quick while this is fresh while this is fresh i want to shift gears onto box rec um so here we have sweet hands you know what i'm saying 18 and 0 10 knockouts and here you see titles held ibf title so this is this is an up-to-date box rec they have this man number three in the united states and they have them number 13 in the world i had to pause on that number three in the united states and number 13 in the world so let's just look at these right it shows you this is it's up to date because it has uzgatiki it has him beating uzgatiki this is a, this is an up-to-date box rec up to date right now, these are the fighters that it has above Caleb Plant. All right. Caleb Smith at number one. I can agree with that. I don't have no beef with that. 
Chris Eubank at number two. I have a problem with that, and I like Chris Eubank. I like Chris Eubank a lot. But what belt does he hold? How are we justifying Chris Eubank as a number 268-pound fighter? How are we justifying that? Gilberto Ramirez should be number two. Plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? He should be the number two um, 168-pounder. Now, if he's moving up to 175, cool. Don't matter. He's still the champion at 168, and he's still undefeated. Um, George Groves at number four. Why? He should be lower. He lost. Rocky fucking Fielding. Still at number five from getting knocked out. Just showing up and getting knocked out. Rocky Fielding, a guy who's done nothing. Absolutely nothing. With, with nobody and nowhere. He held the fucking WBA regular title. A title that was nothing. He got destroyed by Caleb Smith in one round. But yet he's still ranked number five. Jesse Hart. Good fighter. Really good fighter. Um... But I don't have him above Caleb. John Ryder. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? James DeGale. Stop it. Stop it. No, no fucking way. I don't have him above Caleb Plant. Fedor Chudinov. Good fighter. I don't have him above Caleb Plant or David Benavidez. Avni Yildirim. Are you fucking kidding me? Yildirim, this is the same guy that Chris Eubanks destroyed. Avni Yildirim. No belt, no title, nothing. Avni Yildirim. Avni Yildirim is above even Bremer. I don't have Avni Yildirim in the top 10. I don't have him above Bremer. I don't give a fuck if David Benavidez, David Benavidez, David Benavidez hasn't fought in fucking four years. He's still better than, than fucking everybody above him except for, I, I would say... Um, Caleb Smith. And I think Jesse Hart might um, give him some issues. But that's about it. That's about it. And I, as a matter of fact, I don't have nobody above. I, it's Caleb Smith. Period. Caleb Smith, David Benavidez. Caleb, no, David, Caleb, Caleb Smith, David Benavidez, then it should be Gilberto Ramirez. Because I think what David Benavidez what he does, styles make fights. And I, and I think David Benavidez, um, man, I think him and Gilberto Ramirez would be a war, but I, I got David Benavidez in that fight. But the fact that he's number 12 behind Avni fucking Yildirim and fucking Rocky Fielding is, is a disgrace. And the fact that Caleb Plant is number 13 up from number 20, as you see. Number thir 13. 13. As the IBF champion, just beating Uskatiki, but still behind fucking Bramer and Yildirim and Chudinov and Ryder, even Hart, and fucking Rocky Fieldhouse. You can't be fucking kidding me. But these are the box wreck. Um, these are the things that you guys use when it suits your narrative. Like with fucking punk ass Joshua or fucking anybody in Matchroom. Anybody. Any one of them motherfuckers. That's how it was okay for fucking, um, that's how it was okay for fat ass Jarrell Big Baby Miller to fight fucking Yo, uh, not Johan Dupas, but to fight fucking, um, uh, Adamic and then everybody, and then fucking Eddie Hearn's dumb ass is like, oh, well, he's ranked number, he's ranked number 14 in the world. I'm getting him a ranked number 14th fighter in the world. Bro, get the fuck out of here, man. Styles make fights. And that Adamic dude was fucking knocked out by Eric Molina. Styles, not motherfucking. Oh, well, just look at what Buxrick. Buxrick has it. Well, Buxrick is fucked up because it has Caleb Plant at number 13 behind Rocky fucking Fielding. It has David Benavidez number 12 and Rocky Fielding at number five. If anybody on earth think, think thinks Rocky Fielding can beat David Benavidez, anybody on earth? No, I don't think Rocky Fielding's mother thinks that he can beat David, David Benavidez. There ain't no fucking way that Rocky Fielding can beat David Benavidez in nothing. Nothing. No, it don't even have to be boxing. He can't beat him in nothing. No, nothing at all. Them motherfuckers can play darts, and I think, and I, and I got Benavidez. They, they can play hockey. I got Benavidez. 
But Rocky Fielding is number five. Get the fuck. Even the LTNK is looking at this like, this is some bullshit. You know, the, 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 the low lives and low key racists, you know what I'm saying? The low lives and low key racists are looking at Chris Eubank above Caleb Plant. You know what I'm saying? The low key racists, they're looking at this like, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Caleb Plant is a white guy. <laughs> you know, that's what the LTNK does. They, they look at those type of things. They look at that. I don't. I look at styles. Styles make fights. Styles. Not fighters. Styles. And there ain't no fucking way that Avni Yildirim is better than David Benavidez or Caleb Plant. There ain't no fucking way that Rocky Fielding is better than David Benavidez or Caleb Plant. Ain't no fucking way. He ain't better than James DeGale. But yet he's number five. You have got to be fucking kidding me. This is an absolute, this is absolute pathetic. But whatever, whatever, man. Salute to Caleb Sweethands. I knew that motherfucker was going to win. Give a fuck what anybody says. I knew he was going to win. I had him fucking schooling this dude. I had it by UD. Um, just because styles make fights. Plain and simple. I don't let, I don't let um, the emotion of who I like get in the way of who I believe will win the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we go to the scorecards. Judges Max DeLuca and Zachary Young see the contest. 116-110. And Dr. Lou Moret scores the bout. 115-111 for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new...